Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we're going to bring in the StarTech Converter M.2 to USB 3.0 converter, which is an awesome device that to have if you guys ever want to transfer uh, data faster than your current hard drive, your mechanical drive, your 2.5 mechanical drive. This is another option you could have. A great option to have today. We're going to open it up and see what's inside, how do you install the hard drive, and a little description of what goes in there. Now, this is pretty much the hard drive connection. Like I said, it's a 3.0 connection. Uh, they give you the cable. They give you the actual enclosure. It's an aluminum base. Awesome little device. We're going to open it up here and fill it up with a hard drive in here and get it ready to go. Now, this is a really small hard drive. I mean, look at the size of my finger. It's a little larger. Um, it's thicker, of course, you know. Um, this is a great little tool if you want to keep it in your pocket. You want to transfer a lot of files. Uh, transfer rate's not the, the greatest, you know, we're talking about, it's a 3.0 transfer rate and we're looking at more likely like uh, speeds up to uh, 600 megabytes per second. Um, but, you know, it, depending on the file size, of course, you know, now it is compatible M.2 SSD. There's a 30 millimeter, 42 and 60 and 80 millimeter conversion. So not bad little file here um like i said speeds are uh, it depends on the files that you transfer and 650 megabytes per second it's it'll be faster than a regular drive so basically this is your hard drive that you're buying and this is a say you buy a, you have on your laptop uh, currently right now you have a sata drive uh, 72 rpms and 72 rpms are running uh, 180 to 100 megabytes per second uh, you could, you know, it depends on the drive that you buy, you know, the older the drive it is, the slower it is. Now, this is going to transfer higher than this. If you want to convert files, you know, transferring files, say a gig, it's going to take probably a couple minutes in here. It will take you maybe seconds, you know, depending on the transfer rate and depending on your OS and depending on your memory. I mean, a lot of things could be a factor in here that could slow you down, but this is a great buy because it's mobile. It's pretty much just a USB that you take with you, but you do need the USB cable. And like I said, this is a 3.0 USB. It's not 3.1, but they do have a 3.1 version. Now, like I said, this is a 3.0. Um, you could game out of this. So if you're running games, you could run a game. You take it, you plug it in, you run the executable. It will run really smooth. It will run smoother than this. So if you have this type of hard drive in your computer, uh, this is pretty much it's gonna it's not the greatest speeds you know uh, it's like I said uh, up to you know 100 to 60 and then if you have a sat a SATA drive a solid state drive which is one of these right here let me open it up this is pretty much a SATA drive right here and this one actually runs at 500 megabytes per second too also so 160 max 500 and this goes up to 600. Like I said, it's a really transcript transfer rate for your gaming. It's a B plus M pretty much. It's a B plus M that fits in here. Um, it, it, the slots are made for this. The older hard drives, B plus M, this is a B plus M. The older hard drives do not fit in there. So make sure you buy the right. Now this is an M version and this is a, M, a B plus M. B plus M has two indentations. Uh, M only has one. Um, this is not compatible with this hard drive. This is the one the B plus M hard drive is compatible. And this is a crucial hard drive. It's one terabyte hard drive that we're going to put in here. Open the fronts. There's two screws in here in the front. Pretty much you take them apart. It's a little hard, so you can use the same screwdriver to take out the top. If you can see it, it opens up the shield itself. Now these two parts are indentations for the actual screws in there. And you pretty much just pull this out simple it just uh, it feels like a regular uh it's feels like a condom for the system pretty much and and here it reveals a couple of things now on here i i ended up putting the screw in there so i won't lose it in there of course like i said it has for uh, uh different slot size 30 millimeters 42 milli 30 30 millimeters 42 millimeters 60 and in 80. Pretty much the standard's 80. They do make it for other versions, of course, but right now we're gonna deal with 80. And the way it works on this one, this one's a slot for, it's made for uh, B plus M, of course. Pick out the screw, of course, you know? And like I said, they did this, this, um, 
this last screw and this last drive here in the bottom in the back this could be moved to different drives it depends on your size of it in the back of it you could just uh pretty much unlock this move it to the location you want and this is so it won't touch the actual motherboard the hard drive it won't make any contact with it and keep it above it so the way it works is to pretty much uh, line up the hard drive in here put in the hard drive in there slot it slide it down and this tells you that it's already in there if you guys see it the little curve and right there and it won't hit automatically and you have to keep it down and the way you keep it down is pretty much you you have to put the drive you have to actually put the screws on there so we're gonna go ahead and put the screw in there like I said the, sometimes these things come with the screwdriver but you got to make sure you have a magnet screwdriver because um, it's very crucial because you, you can lose these parts and they're very simple to lose your, your parts. Uh, you, you tie it up. Simple as that. And then what you do, you pretty much just slide it in there facing up first. You can actually open the back too, but there's no need to open the back. And the way it works, you you pretty much uh, face it up where it's Star Tech. Star, um, uh, Star Tech is upright. Um, you slide it in the bottom version of it. And of course, there's ventilation dents in here and vents right here. If you guys see them, uh, pretty neat. That I liked. I liked all these little vents, so it won't overheat too much, or it, you know, depends on what you're doing. And you pretty much just close it. And what you do is you just make sure that it lines up properly, and you just find the screws and you put them in there, one screw at a time. You get your 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 drive you get your plug in your, your usb your 3.0 usb it will identify as a new drive like i said usb you can only run it at 650 640 i believe megabytes per second uh usb is not the greatest um five gigs per second i would say you know that's pretty much a uh, transfer rate um it's not that bad but you're not using the potential that the m.2 that's in here built in the M.2 goes at 3,500 3,500 megabytes per second. So you are going to lose some speed there. Now, but if you have a drive that you want to run in, you want to upgrade, you want to make transferring rate or use this hard drive, it's a great way to do it. Now, this drive itself is not that expensive. You can find it in different locations. Um, this is a StarTech and it's 40 bucks. Depends on where you buy it. You can buy it cheaper. But you could buy yourself another hard drive instead of this. You know, this is a great option to have. It's a great tech tool that we I use a lot. If you want um, recover files from somebody's computer, you try, you put the M.2 in here and you transfer the files in, over to another machine. Same thing, transferring desktops, laptops, great transferring way. And this is a great tech tool to have all around, not just for gaming, but um, file transferring, um, data transferring. So one way we take off the hard drive out of your laptop, we put it in here and we just plug into our laptop We transfer the files and we're ready to go. You could boot up any device, any application out of this and it'll run really smooth, but you need to have all the executable and the DLLs in here and then pretty much everything to run out of this. Um, my recommendation, if you ever run a game out of this, you could save it. You could teach Steam to save games in here. You could teach other systems to um, update the games through here. But like I said, um, the transfer rate, it's not the greatest. It's it's 3.0 speeds. You're not going to get any higher than that. Um, you're going to get slower, but I don't recommend you buying the M.2 to upgrade your computer with this device. This is pretty much just a, a tool to travel with, take your applications, your games, and then transfer into your laptop, but not to boot up OS or anything like that. But people do that, you know, for security reasons, they can do that. Uh, it's another great option to have too also, but don't highly recommend you. This is a great tool for all you techs out there. If you're going to transfer hard drive information from one drive to another, this is another great option. Like I said, it's a USB simple to take apart, simple to plug in, simple to go. Uh, this is a great tool I carry around all the time in case I got to transfer on the run a large amount of files from a hard drive. This is a great option for all you tech guys out there great essential tool to have out there especially now these days that 
a lot of people are just you know trying their computer crashes not because of the hard drive because of their issues it could be a hard uh, it could be a battery it could be a short it could be the motherboard we don't know but uh, most of the times the hard drives are intact that we use this device to transfer the stuff so if you guys like it, what you guys see uh make sure hit me up i'm your host frank the tank and we are out